Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gemology for Schmucks. My name is Peter Nelson, and I'm here to guide you in everything you need to know about gemstones. One of you lovely people asked me to make another video about the conoscope, which is this lollipop-like lens right here, and that goes with the polariscope, so I'm here to follow through on that. Now, the conoscope can do a number of very useful things for us. It can show us the optic character of a stone. So, when a stone splits light, it's a doubly refractive stone, it will have a different kind of nature, and that's basically got two main classes. You've got uniaxial, meaning it's got one extra axis, and then you've got biaxial, meaning it's got two extra axes. And that's in addition to the c-axis, where the stone will seem to be singly refractive. So once we've discovered that the stone is doubly refractive, then we can use the conoscope or the lollipop, whatever you'd like to call it. Some of them are like a magnifying glass, some of them are just a glass rod with a melted orb on the end. And what this does is it just focuses light. Because in the direction of those axes on the gemstone, when you look at them in the polariscope, you'll see an iridescent sheen, kind of rainbow colors, these interference colors. And that shows us where the optic axis is. So if we use the conoscope on some stones like these amethyst, then something very unique will happen that only happens to quartz. Now, it doesn't always happen to every piece of quartz, but I will say that out of the stones that I tested in this parcel, many of the pieces did have this particular unique feature. Now, what is unique to quartz that hasn't shown up in any other stone is something called the bullseye effect. So when we looked at uniaxial stones, we'll see that there's kind of a target shape, and then there are lines, crossing lines that will come into the center of that bullseye. Now, the bullseye effect is something that only happens to quartz, and those lines will actually stop at the outside of the target. They won't penetrate to the center of the target. I'm not sure why that is. But I do find it very interesting that quartz, which is one of the most common materials on the planet, is a unique mineral in that it is the only one that has this bullseye effect. So how exactly do I find the bullseye optic figure? Well, once you have your polariscope and your conoscope, of course you're going to need to turn it on. And you're going to need to make sure that the polariscope is in crossed polars, meaning that it looks black from the top. It doesn't have that bright light shining through. We are then going to take our stone in question and rotate it around in the crossed polars and locate the interference colors. That's going to be at the optic axis. So in doubly refractive stones, the faster way to do that is to rotate the stone, and when you see the black brush sweep across the stone, find the brush and follow that black brush up to its point. The optic axis should be along there somewhere. Sometimes it is very difficult to find, and depending on how many inclusions are in the stone, it may in fact be impossible to find. But if you have a large stone like this, you're more likely than not to get lucky. So once you find those interference colors, you take the conoscope and you lay it over the top of those interference colors. It does not have to be touching the stone. In fact, it's better if it's a little bit away from the stone because that helps focus the symbol. The better aligned with the optic axis you are, the clearer that sign will be. So if the stone is kind of off axis a little bit, the sign's going to be in a place that may be difficult to see on the conoscope. Best of luck to view. Practice makes perfect. So get your polariscope out, get a whole bunch of stones in your conoscope, and practice until you are confident in doing it. So what we know from using the conoscope in just a couple of seconds is that this stone is 100% quartz. We don't need to know the RI. We don't need to know anything else about the stone. If we see the bullseye effect, we know 100% that this stone is quartz. Now do be aware that it does not tell us that it is natural quartz. Synthetic quartz can also have the bullseye effect. So we will still need our trusty loop. Ha ha! And you will need to be familiar with natural inclusions in gemstones. If you have a piece of amethyst or citrine or any other type of quartz that is 100% clean or has generic kinds of inclusions that may also be in synthetic quartz, then you do not know whether or not it is natural or synthetic and you will need to get it tested by an advanced lab. But knowing that it is quartz and not in fact some other mineral that could also be colorless or purple is definitely a step in the right direction. So there you go. Glad to keep you in the loop today. And if you've got any other questions, please head over to gemshepherd.com where you can read more about gemology and gemstones and investing in gemstones and also get in contact with me directly. Otherwise, please do hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Tell all of your friends about me. Until next time, bye bye